सो वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकोस फैक्ट्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ एडिनर्जिक एंटागोनिस्ट एंड द सीरीज विल कंटिन्यू सो ऑन सो दिस आर ऑल द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द सीरीज एंड इन केस ऑफ डाउट प्लीज यूज द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई होप द कंटेंट प्रोवाइडेड हियर इज वन हेल्पफुल टू यू ऑल सो लेट्स बिगिन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज adverse effects of beta blockers in the first earlier sections we have already discussed the pharmacological actions of beta blockers classification uses and today we are going to discuss is adverse effects clear so first is due to beta blocker so when the beta blockers are blocked what are the adverse effects of it first is bronchoconstriction due to blockage of the beta 2 receptors in bronchial smooth muscles so smooth muscles have the blockage of the beta 2 receptors due to which there are the chances of the bronchoconstriction so bronchial asthma patient have to see that in asthmatics copd emphysema blockers precipitated severe attack of asthma i already told beta blockers should be avoided in patient with the history of asthma and copd because it leads to more severe condition drugs with the selectivity for beta 1 receptors have less likely to induce bronchospasm so bronchospasm bronchoconstriction these are two ideal adverse effect in the patient so you have to take care with the copd asthma and status asthmatic is clear so next is bradycardia it is due to beta receptor blockage in patient with the complete or pa partial av conduction defects beta antagonist may cause life threatening bradyarrhythmia so it will decrease the heart rate below 60 per minute bradyarrhythmia because there is a av conduction defects is the electrical conductivity imbalance particular caution is indicated who are taking other drugs such as varamapil that is for the blood pressure or angina and other anti arrhythmic uh, agents for the heart rhythm which may impair sinus node function or av conduction so it may disturb the electrical conductivity between atria and ventricles they decrease the heart rate up to 60 beats per minute i will tell beta block can lead to the life threatening heart block in high doses so if high doses are given it can create heart block it severe bradycardia is seen in sick sinus syndrome that is a heart rhythm disorder associated with S N O D, clear. Six sinus symptom. So next is called extremities. Propranolol causes vasoconstriction in cutaneous blood vessels. It blocks the vasodilatory beta two receptors in the extremities. So more vasoconstriction leads to the extremities in the cutaneous blood vessels, and it creates the vasodilatory effects are blocked. Hence, it goes to the vasodilation. clear and contracted in the raynaud's disease we have seen a hot flash some areas feel cold of the body some are hot of the body that is raynaud's disease in the case of heart failure is another contraindicate uh, sorry adverse effect in cardiac patient higher doses of beta blockers may lead to block av node or precipitate the heart failure it will create the more conditions but low dose beta one blocker has a beneficial effect in the heart failure we have already seen in the previous section of the uses that ideally the beta blockers are not suggested in the case of hf but nowadays it is used but in the low doses hypoglycemic unawareness due to hypoglycemia there is a simulation of the sympathetic activity with symptoms like tachycardia palpitation tremors sweating so when you take in the patients of the hypoglycemia these things are observed and due to that the symptoms like tachycardia palpitation tremors and sweating beta blockers inhibit sympathetic activity and mask the hypoglycemic symptom this we have already se seen in the previous section that beta blockers can mask the symptoms of hypoglycemia such as rapid heartbeat tremor because they block the effect of the norepinephrine which results in the slowing of heart rate conductivity of heart rate and reduce tremor clear patient is unaware of hypoglycemia hence beta blockers are contraindicated in the dm diabetes malaitis beta 1 selective blockers are relatively more safe than beta 1 and beta 
altered plasma lipids that is that decreases the hdl level and increases the tgs levels chronic usage may cause the increased triglyceride level which can lead to the coronary artery this is like arteriosclerosis or atherosclerosis beta 1 selective blockers have a less effect on lipid and it can also lead to the sexual dysfunction what are the adverse effects that are not due to beta blocker although you will find the adverse effects of the beta blockers but it is not due to the receptor blockage in the cns you will feel like sedation sleeping disturbance depression and propanolol may cause bad dreams nightmares remember that okay now when there is a overdoses or toxicities of the beta blockers what you will see the symptoms is like hypotension decrease in the blood pressure bradycardia decrease in the heart rate prolonged diuretic induction times so electrical disturbance or widened qrs complex clear so this complex will be like this p and common manifestations or overdose seizure or depression may occur it may precipitate the hypoglycemia and bronchospasm so these are the two means when there is a over dosage you will also find the following things clear i hope that session is proven helpful to you all and in case of doubt you can ask or also qrs complex is seen in this way also it can be widened there are various defects like this you will observe in the ecg of the following things what are the treatment when there is a over dosage of the beta blockers what is the reason this is the most common questions asked in the why why uh, one liner atropine you can give to treat the bradycardia you can give glucagon one glucose level and you can also use the adrenergic agonist that is symptomatic agents like isoprenal dopamine dobutamine adrenaline and salbutamol can be used to overlay the symptoms of over dosage clear so next is sudden withdrawal so when you are giving beta blocker and it is withdrawal if beta blockers are stopped suddenly after chronic use it may precipitate ischemic pain example in the patients of the mi or angina it is due to up regulation so what it does it increases the number of receptors if the number of receptors is increased hence the sensitivity of beta receptor is increased so if you are doing any kind of sudden withdrawal there is a chances of ischemic pain if required you can do the dose of beta blocker should be reduced gradually so step by step you can go to the low low dosage treatment but if you directly withdraw it may precipitate symptom more so it was all about today's session i hope that whatever the content is provided is helpful and it is for all the fields so you can share with your friends and do subscribe the channel thank you have a nice day